What is going on? We're back again. The boys are back in town. That's the only part of that song I know. Just repeating that like 27 times. That would be my rendition of the song. You can. This person's PSN is so optimistic. Surely my, with her absurd range, could have punished that. This is why I hate being ignorant. They put my on sale yet? As I feel like there has been one time in the past that Arc System Works DLC characters went on sale, didn't they? I feel like I remember that. But it might have been Guilty Gear. Alternatively, it might have been a different game. Let me actually see. You can enjoy this match. I'm going to roll over to Google real quick. There it is. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift DLC going on sale. See, I did remember it, but that is mad old. It's Continuum Shift. So I thought that's what I remembered was that... Falconhine at some point in time went on sale for four bucks. Yeah, four fifty. See, I would buy, I would consider. Like my I would purchase at four fifty because that is a character that again I've kinda watched and been like, I just I don't maybe I would like her, maybe I wouldn't. It would test me. I'm not positive if I would purchase her at that price point, because it's still, you know, 450 for a character. Yeah. But it would make me consider it, whereas at $8, it's just it's an immediate no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean if it's a character that I might be interested in and I think I might end up playing, which obviously means I will get my money's worth out of them. I'll absolutely purchase it, but at, on sale. But I still wouldn't buy any character. Like, if I'm not going to play them, I would not buy them just to learn them, you know? That's actually one of the biggest things that I must suck about being a person that does take the game seriously. That you pretty much... If you want to learn the character, you either have to have a friend who is willing to buy it and bum the, uh, their version... Or you gotta buy it yourself solely so you can learn the character and know how to fight them so you don't wind up losing money because you got into a tournament match with somebody who knew the character backwards and forwards and you've never experienced them. Before. You know? That animation took so damn long to get an end result of 2850 damage the wheel of fate is turning Rebel one action Ooh, that was with my I was definitely with punchable they just picked the wrong move to try and use that's definitely... Because I think that is probably one of Ragnar's slowest uh, starting moves. So if you're going to overdrive, Ray, don't pick your slowest move to try and punish somebody. I would have expected a lot better out of two level 35 people. But right now, it's kind of just... They're literally just flailing around and hoping for the best, like that! That was a free confirm! What? Cause that's not even like, oh, they just fucked that command up. That command's 2-2-D, right? Like, it's not exactly something that you just do on accident. Couldn't you just barrier block that? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to spend your burst for nothing. I'm being so unnecessarily judgmental right now, but it's just like 
Now I'm bolt level 35. That should mean something, damn it. These arbitrary numbers that nobody knows the criteria for except for the person who coded them. They're important to me, god damn it. So, just so I can tell you where my mind currently is, how burnt out I am, I had to double check that station sign in the background, because I thought it says tat I thought it said tattoos, and I was like, why the hell is there just a random skyscraper that's a tattoo parlor in the middle of wherever the fuck this is in Blaze Blue? It's where Azrael got his ink done, man. Paid him big money. They got to buy a tower off of it. Does anybody else have any, like, markings or anything in this game? I don't fucking know. I wouldn't adapt that. DP rapid cancel in the gauntlet Hades? Nuh-uh, that's hitting me every time. Many DP rapid cancels, but you're dead now. Waffle, you forgot a vowel, homie. Oh God, that tiger color hurts my eyes. <laughs> I should use that though. Show my middle school alma mater pride, man. <laughs> Blue and gold. That was my oh my middle school color. Oh boy, so garish. Word. That was an ass beating. Dale. Oh, it's going the other direction now. I hit confirm that. I feel like that's all the advice the majority of fighting game players actually need. You gotta hit confirm, man. So good to see that I'm not the only person who gets hit by literally every single DP and S player ever throws out. Did he just get popped in the back of the head by that drive thing that was a mile away from him? Oh, feels bad to be a Tager main. Oh, okay. I actually wasn't sure how much damage they were going to get out of that. Because obviously they could have rapid canceled, but if they had just done 6A, 6B, 6B, uh, Mad Attack Wheel, that would have been a free kill. And they didn't do it, and I thought they fucked up. You're going to stand there and block, at least instant block. Get something from it. I understand with overheads, sometimes you get clipped every once in a while. But this dude has been hit by every single one of S's, and her overhead is just not fast enough to get clipped by every single time. It's terrible. Mambo. Oh, that didn't come. Oh, yeah, that doesn't come. Every single DP? I think that's 5 for 5 now, I want to say. Oh, you're done. Feels bad. I mean, look how many Tager. I'm just, I'm like solely looking for just that one godlike Tager that I can just hone in on every single time I see the leaderboards. And I just, I never will. I'll never find them. Oh, 
Have air throws always looked as unnatural as they started looking in Chrono Phantasma throughout the entire series and I just never noticed before? It doesn't feel- it just feels like every single time somebody gets an air grab, they're just teleporting through the air to appear. Whereas before it felt more natural- I don't know. They nerf really some damage. I feel like he would have gotten a lot more off of that. Although I think he has two of those moves that look very similar. Maybe I'm thinking of the other one. Oh my god! I wouldn't have blocked that either. Oh! The wheel of fate is turning! Teleportation. I think he actually meant to do that, or was that a fucked up exceeding? So, answers that we would have if the input was not as intrusive as it currently is. Should be near. You fucked up. Never mind, it worked. He could have done, um, 2C, Spark Bolt, probably could have immediately gone into Magnetech Wheel, could have also just thrown something out before the Magnetech Wheel, but he definitely should have been dead from that, and not from a very, very questionable reset. Waiting for that the entire time. Can do it again. So I think if he just started sledging, he could in for free every single time. That Sarumi is just kind of waiting for the hammer. Twice in a row now, they've just thrown out. That is a pretty decent strength of Sledge. At least to a degree. If you're sledging close enough for the follow-up hammer to hit, you do have to question whether or not you're going to try and punish the Sledge. This hammer could come out and punch you in the face. But that Tager just fucked up, and he might have lost. This is Taruni in the corner. And that very well may be enough. Woo, so close. That's a bummer. Fuck it, just keep throwing out Exceed Excel until it works. Central Fiction in a nutshell. God damn it. Answer, for the love of God, please be a beautiful, beautiful Guilty Gear character that only costs $5 that ends up being the best in the world that I want to play. I actually have, spoiler alert for those of you that actually watch these, I, ha I do own Revelator now. It was on sale on Amazon for like 18 bucks, something like that. Well, I just got it. And then of course when I saw like... Oh my god, there's a Guilty Gear Revelator version 2. Please, god, don't be like a purchasable disc or something. <laughs> I would have been so mad. But I do have Revelator, I just... I mean, it's kind of, I, like, I bought it around the same time that I... kind of stopped having time to play Blaze Blue 2. So I haven't had time to play either one of them. 
But so that's a main reason why I am very hopeful that Answer actually winds up being a very good Ooh, rapid cancel into 5B or 5A. No, yeah, that was 5B. I, I was right the first time. I just saw the 5A afterwards. I was like, what the hell? This stupid new set. But yeah, like, I, you get really good damage off of Grand Punish Rapid Cancel 6C. And I think that would have actually made up the difference if he had done a real combo there. And so that's this big thing is like... I have not seen a single Tagger player, regardless of whether or not I know who they are or if they're just somebody who's a decently high level that I can see replays from. You know, like this includes tournament footage from Japan. Like, not confirming that. I just constantly see so many mistakes. And there's nobody that's really put the character completely together yet. Even Grandia, who's like has always been kind of my go-to. This player is goddamn amazing. I thought it actually worked. I would have lost my shit, but it didn't. He's not... From what I've seen, he's really not adjusted particularly well to Central Fiction in that he's not doing a lot of Central Fiction-specific stuff. His setups haven't really changed at all from Chrono Phantasma. And I just... I haven't seen any single Tager that has just put everything together in hit confirm stuff optimally, has optimal combos. There's every single one of them has a glaring weakness of some sort. That fucking sucks. <laughs> Especially the fact that the actual, like, hit stop makes the move last about three times as long as it should've. So you get all that time to stand there and understand how badly you just fucked up. Oh, he had managed to hit that on the way past. Is a Nami I don't know, man. I really don't understand what got me to be so disdainful of projectile Oki like that. And it is one of the biggest reasons why I'm just like, ah, whatever, I'm not really terribly invested in Guilty Gears, because like, 90% of the cast has some kind of free projectile Oki. Although I don't think it's as bad in Sign and Revelator as it used to be. I mean, I'm certainly not going to pretend like I was well versed in the old version of the Guilty Gear. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't get hit by that. I get lit up every time. It's just, you do not expect a full screen slide to be coming after you when she's at like super jump height. It's just such an odd thing that, like, I don't know of any other characters that you would normally have to consider that for. And it especially doesn't help if she l literally teleports. Like, if she did some really rapid falling animation instead to hit the ground and then went into the slide, I would probably be able to... I would be a lot better about blocking it. But since she does just teleport, it's kind of like, wait, but she was in the air. <laughs> this ain't right, she was in the air! The wheel of fate is threading. Oh, that's right. I, I do remember this now. I, me I meant to remember which one this was. I downloaded this solely for shits and giggles. Because it was a leader Izayoi against a level 1 player. And I was like, how is this going to work? Yeah. 
and now the Jin. Doesn't matter who you are. Now you are in the corner against a fully stocked up Izayoi. Rest in peace, level one Jin. We hardly move. This is actually another character that I'm surprised more people haven't latched onto. Because most people, like, they, get, they gravitate towards characters that are stupidly good at something. So that they can abuse that something over and over and over. And Izanami's offense, once she is in this mode and she has stocks, is the most bullshit thing in the game. And then they gave her a meterless reversal on top of it, because why not? She needs it. She wasn't good enough. Says the Asriel player. Although her DP is a hell of a lot better than Asriel's is. That's a bummer. I'll let me give Tager a DP. Just give Tager something that is so solidly against everything that he stands for. I was actually gonna say give him like a jumping belly flop, but that's exactly what Grand Punish is. Just have that be his DP! <gasps> I just thought of something brilliant. Just instead of swinging down, he just throws like a forearm, a backhand. Right out of the air, jumps up, belly flops. Perfect. Let me design the next Blaze Blue. I'm in there. I'll delete Arachne. <laughs> oh, that poor Talkaka. I don't even know what happened. Like, that round just ended. At one point, the Talkaka was kind of putting the Arachne in block stun, and I started thinking about Tager DPs, and the round finished. Now it is the exact opposite. Please don't get cursed and die. Please don't get- Oh, isn't that what it started off of a counter hit Antia? That's such a kick in the balls for this character. Not only do you have to deal with him getting out of your pressure, Having to potential potentially deal with Exceed Excel, you get cursed on top of it. Enjoy this mechanic. Didn't we think it through? Oh my god. Want my other Takaka back? They were so fun to watch. question is, can this Talcaco win off of this touch? Because if she gets cursed with by anything, she's dead. I think, with my massively ignorant self, if she had immediately gone into overdrive, that might have been a kill. Oh god, and they were almost fully cursed too, so they gotta deal with the whole thing. Fortunately, that mix-up was really bad. I shouldn't even say it was bad, there was no mix-up. It was non-existent. Something can't be bad if it just doesn't exist. I love matches that, like, it's just two people flailing around and praying that something sticks. Oh. <laughs> 
I don't actually know if that was a legitimate lift punish. I think he might have been able to block that. <laughs> that's actually really dirty though. DP rapid kill. Like, that's really fast. He stutter stepped and wound up further into the corner than when he started. That's like, that's one of the worst things you can do. Oh, this match is hurting me. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. <laughs> oh boy. The shimmy just isn't the same in Blaze Blue as it is in Street Fighter. Okay, so this is one of the Tager players that I'm actually thinking that I need to start ignoring from now on. So I picked one of the worst matchups for them to definitively tell me is this person. Because this person has actually the most games played. Like, I think they're almost at 6,000. They might have reached it by now. I think my point might have already been proven. <laughs> oh god, why did you get hit by that? That was almost a nice catch. Is this gonna work? Nope. What I was actually expecting there was um, J2C3C Magnetech Wheel. Because I think if 5B was gonna pick him up, 3C, I mean, if anything was gonna pick him up after that, that late in the combo, I think 3C would have. So that could have been a round finisher. But, they didn't do it. Start keeping a master list of all the players that impress me and just start looking out for them. <sighs> These people are not going on the master list. <laughs> oh no. The best. Only the finest. <laughs> we make sure we have high quality. Because there's something to be said for looking at something fresh for the first time. Alternatively, there's something to be said for verifying that a match is actually going to be good <laughs> before you put it on tape. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, help me! 
that was actually nice. It's not. No, not quite. Very close. That was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. I can't believe that didn't hit. Just flail around, just keep flailing, that's how you play the character! It actually worked and now she has corner control. Oh god, please don't run it back. Okay. All for that tiny sliver of health, I was about to lose my mind. Azrael really does not like being on defense. I thought that would have been too slow. Well, at least now if I use Azrael anytime soon, I'll know how to punish that. Because 5C will actually, like, if you use 5C and you try to let her land first, it does. It's, she's too far away. But if you throw out 5C when it will still hit, she's still airborne. Oh, can he kill off Overdrive? Please, for the love of God, Overdrive. That'll kill. That match actually got good at the end. It took a couple rounds to warm up, but I take my words back. That got good.